Hey guys, before we hop into today's video, I wanted to go ahead and preface that there are spots in this video that are blurry. I'm not sure what happened. Like I said, I'm really not very savvy with a camera. Um, so there's just certain spots in the video, uh, mainly when I'm talking. So sorry, but it is what it is. Um, I hope you still enjoy the video. Let's jump in. Hey guys. So welcome back. Today I am starting my decorating process for Christmas. And I say process because it's a process. It takes me, it takes me a little while. Um, a friend of mine messaged me the other day and she was like, I can't believe you haven't started yet. And I said, I know, me too. I normally like to start November 1st, but or at least like the first weekend of November I will start. But we had people over on Sunday and I knew if I had started then it would just be a mess because I am a snail when it comes to decorating for Christmas. I like to take my time, I do it pretty slowly and with kids running around, it just, it doesn't really happen, you know, as quickly as I would like. So I actually cleared off all the fall stuff yesterday and I'm going to just kind of do a quick little clean and then throw the trees up. I, I know a lot of people like to end with their tree. I like to start with my tree. I don't know. I just like to get it kind of out of the way because the bags are huge and we have lots of trees. So Addie's over there eating, <laughs> eating breakfast number two or three. I can't remember. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's just get started. Before we start though, I'll show you some home updates um, that we've done since I last talked to you guys. Okay, so remember I, so we had this little table right here, we had it right here, and I told you I didn't know what I was going to do with this big space. Hold on, let me try to turn this, let me try to turn Addison's video down a little bit. Okay, that's better. Okay, so this was a compromise, but I love how it turned out. I originally wanted a desk area, and my husband wanted to build like a bar. <laughs> um, like for extra seating when people would come over to eat. And so we found this table at Hobby Lobby for a little over $100, I think. It was super affordable. And all the desks that I had seen were two, $300, so. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my little sidekick. Um, so we already had these black stools and I thought, okay, what the heck? We can meet in the middle and do like a desk bar situation. They've already seen your room. She loves showing everybody her room. Okay, I'll show two seconds, okay? So we hung our gallery wall from the last house. I actually don't even think you guys saw that gallery wall in the last house. And... I love how it turned out. Brooklyn actually sits there a lot. Um, she does her homework there. So that is a new little update that we have. We also, let's see, I finished. We finished the island. We still need to caulk out the trim of it, but I finished staining it, sealing it. So we have been enjoying this. And when we had people over this weekend, it was nice because they could sit and eat there. So that is 98% done, I would say. And then I got this rug from Amazon. It's super popular. I think a lot of people actually have it, but I will link it down below. It's really pretty. It's got some blacks and some greens and some like burgundy, a little bit of pink, taupe. It's really pretty. And I wanted something that was a little bit darker to hide all of the all of the traffic and the spills in the kitchen. So show, my room. show them your room. Okay, we'll show them your room. So we have all of the bedroom trees in here. You guys, Addie's so funny. She loves showing her room. Is it clean? It's pretty clean. We can actually show them because I think this is a little bit different than the last time I showed you. I don't remember. I um added some stuff right there. The pet 
added some flowers. I just kind of moved some stuff around that was on the walls that I just wasn't loving. I want to find her some crib sheets that actually go with this. I wanted to do like a light pink, sort of dark blue navy theme in her room. Your pillow. Your covers. My jammies. My Your jammies. <laughs> my, my toys. Your toys. My horse. Your horsey. My books. Your books. You're cute. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's get to decorating. Are you going to help me with Christmas? Yes. Okay. Let's go. So I am going to start by moving furniture because, you know, sometimes that's what you have to do in order to fit your tree in. But the tree is normally, I would say, what I decorate first. Y'all let me know. I know some people like to do it last. Some people like to do it first. I, I to be honest with you, hate decorating my tree. <laughs> um, it's just not something that... Um, I enjoy doing but I do it first and kind of get it out of the way because I feel like for me at least it kind of sets the stage for the rest of my Christmas decorations but y'all let me know down below do you decorate your tree first or do you do it last now you will see as we get into today's video I struggled a little bit if I'm being honest decorating for Christmas with sweet little Addie girl she is two we also have if you're new here we also have two other girls they are seven and five and they are in school during the day so Addie is my little sidekick and 99% of the time we have a blast together and she is she is an easy an easy child she is my she has been my easiest one so far but you will see throughout this video, we take many breaks to play ball and other things. So this is real life. This is me trying to decorate our home for Christmas with a very busy two-year-old. comments down below are you someone who goes out and picks out a real tree with your family or do you opt for a fake tree I have actually never had a real tree my dad speaks for a living and so he would always lose his voice whenever they would get real trees and it just gave some members of our family really bad allergies I don't know does that happen to you guys do you find that it messes with your allergies if you have a real tree don't touch this, how do you Addy, leave the camera alone. Thank you. Oh. Addy? Uh-uh. Addison. Addison. Addy. Addy. Please don't mess with the camera. It's not a toy. No, it's a camera. I know. So let's not play with it like that, okay? I see yourself, Mommy. Do you see myself? Okay. Yeah. That's good.
Don't mind my friend. <laughs> I haven't had one of those in a while, I don't know. Anywho, not that that matters at all. But, so, as you can see, it is difficult getting anything done with a two-year-old, as I'm sure most of you know. So, I got this tree up. I actually got the girls' tree up, and, um, well, I got all three of the girls have a tree in their room. Um, they're smaller, obviously, but got those up. None of them are decorated. All of our boxes with our Christmas decorations and all that kind of stuff is out back in our shed. And so I might wait until Michael gets home and have him help me do that because I have to leave to go get the girls in like 40 minutes. So I don't really know if I want to start anything. Yeah, I probably won't. So I don't know, depending on what time, I think we're gonna grab Chipotle for dinner. So depending on what time we get home, I don't know if I'm gonna feel like doing anything later tonight or not. I might just have to resume in the morning, but I'll show you what I had to do. So y'all know when you're decorating for Christmas, furniture just kind of gets moved everywhere. Um, and so I had, you know, those two chairs right here. And so since the tree went there, I moved them there and put a table in between them. Y'all let me look, y'all let, let me know what you think. I don't know if they'll stay. We'll see what Michael thinks when he gets home. So I did that. Like I said, got this tree up, got the girls tree up and that's literally, literally all I got done today. I did take a break and we went and grabbed lunch. Um, Addie and I went and met Michael for lunch. So, um, I might could have got a little bit more done, but I doubt it. <laughs> but she's down for a nap, so that was the only reason I was able to get that tree done. So yeah, I will probably, if my girls come home and really wanna decorate the tree tonight, which I doubt we will, we'll probably just wait till tomorrow, then I'll put clips in. If not, I'll see you in the morning. All right, y'all, so it is the next day. We did not do anything else last night as far as decorating goes I am starting off the morning watching Peppa Pig <laughs> Addie was actually sitting on the couch watching Peppa Pig and I am gonna go through and I'm gonna clean up the mantle and our entryway table because I'm gonna try to focus on those today I need to get a larger garland that's what I was trying to say. I needed to get a larger garland for our mantle because the one that I had was like, it was, it only covered half the mantle. So I will get those, but I was going to go ahead and just hang our stockings where they're going to go to kind of get them out of the way. So that is what I'm going to do here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to buy some longer garland. So, I will do that. What? I will, just a second. So, I hung our stockings, I actually got new stockings. Yes, ma'am. Okay, just a minute. I actually got new stockings this year from Amazon because Hobby Lobby stopped carrying the stockings that we had before I had Addie and I don't know. Michael didn't think it was that big of a deal, but I wanted them all to be the same. So, got those from Amazon. It was like, I don't know, they were like 25 bucks and I got a pack of six. So obviously we don't need the sixth one. I'm going to get some new garland for this mantle. And then I'm actually going to make, I made some last year. I think it was last year or the year before. I can't remember. I made some of these actually. I'll show you. I made some of these, but now that I have a cricket, I'm probably, well, it's not going to focus. Now that I have a cricket, Addison may not pull that. This is gonna be this is gonna be a problem. This might be a problem. Good morning. Haven't said good morning yet. It is the next day. Okay. Oh goodness. Okay. So I may actually not be able to keep that. She did that last year. She liked to pull the stockings and it would pull those houses down. So let me just set this up. Hang on a second. So that may not work. I may actually 
have to just do some hooks instead of the houses. We'll see. So I'm gonna make some new name tags, get some new garland, and I'll probably finish the mantle another day. You'll see it in our final Christmas home tour. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm gonna work on our entryway, see if I can get that done. I'm not making as much progress today because, well, two year old. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep these lamps or replace them. I think I'm gonna replace them, but I have like three of these small trees, but they're all a little bit different. So obviously I would like to have two matching ones, but I don't really, I'm not gonna go buy two matching ones. I mean, I could, but I'm gonna try to save some money where I can and use what I have. So they may just be mismatchy and we're gonna roll with it. But I think I'm gonna take these down and replace them with the trees. they're that bad um when it's just a little bit skinnier than the other one but I'm gonna have to find probably another extension board somewhere so I just wanted to take a second while I am getting this entryway table done to tell you guys that my grandmother always went above and beyond decorating for Christmas and my mother went above and beyond decorating for Christmas and I feel like it's just kind of in my blood and they actually gifted me with a lot of Christmas decor but saying that I want you to know that it does not matter how much money you spend on Christmas decorations it doesn't matter how grand your home looks decorated for Christmas because that's not what Christmas is about Okay, so I, you will see, am a big lover of my Christmas villages. I don't know. I think it's in my blood somewhere. Um, so I actually have one that was handed down from like my mom. And then I bought this one last year. I think I bought it from Kohl's. I think that's where I got it. I got it like 50% off. And it's beautiful. So I'm gonna put this on here. Done. I think I'm gonna just add like a wreath right here or like a spray on top. Okay guys, um, so I put Addie down for a nap and I've got about an hour until I have to grab the girls from school. So I'm gonna try to clean up what is left out and hopefully I can finish up tomorrow. There are a few things that I actually need to buy before I'm completely done. So I will show you what I was able to get done today. And like I said, hopefully I can finish up tomorrow, but I added some ornaments to the tree. That way the girls can come home tonight and they can put the rest of the ornaments on there wherever they wish. I added this tree here. I uh, was gonna put this outside, but we don't have any plugs outside, so. This house is lacking an outlet, so I just kind of have to put things where there's an outlet for now. So I added that there. I added 
this Christmas countdown to right there. I'm waiting on some pictures to come into the mail and I'll probably add some Christmas pictures right there. But I'm trying to keep this simple so that, you know, my girls can still sit there and do their homework and we can eat there and all that kind of stuff. This stuff needs to go in the closet. I added this to our table. Don't mind my laundry. I need to fold that. I keep our kitchen table super simple during the holidays. Well, all the time really, but we, I just don't want to have to be constantly, although I would love to have a really pretty tablescape. I don't want to constantly have to be moving stuff around when we sit down to eat. So I'm pretty sure that is how our table is going to stay. I need to get some wall art for here, like a Christmas piece. I may, or I don't know. I may try to do something with my Cricut. I might not, but I'm going to get something to go right there. I just added this up here. I might tweak this a little bit, but for now, that is what that looks like. I finished up over here. I think you guys saw I added this reindeer right here, but I am super pleased with how this turned out. I'm going to add a wreath right here as soon as I get a little suction hook. And then kept this pretty simple over here. I'm talking quietly, so I don't wake up Addison. Just added that up there. And then I will show you, I haven't touched the kitchen yet, so I still need to get that done. So here in the playroom, I need to clean up, but added this tree, our little nutcrackers. Again, I'll let the girls decorate this tree. Added their little nativity scene. I'll probably do some more stuff right here, but for now, it's staying there.